After traveling in Latin America for five months, we have now reached our last country of our trip, which is no other than Mexico. We'll be spending one month exploring the beauty of this country, visiting several different destinations. And I now welcome you to join the journey exploring Mexico together. Mexico City, the vibrant capital of Mexico, is a bustling metropolis blending ancient history with modern culture. Known for its rich heritage, the city offers iconic landmarks, colorful neighborhoods, world-class museums, and a thriving culinary scene. We were lucky and got to spend a week here exploring this big capital. Today we have come to what I would say is the most important Catholic site in all of Mexico. As you can see, there's lots of people here. We're not uh, the only ones here. Although I'm not seeing a lot of international tourists, I think this is a very important site for locals. We wanted to come and check it out because it is quite a special place. Lady of Guadalupe is probably the most important figure for Catholics in Mexico. The story goes that in 1531, Virgin Mary appeared to a local man named Juan Diego, and she asked him to build a church in her honor. To convince him, she told him to gather roses in a tilma. When he then later opened the tilma in front of the bishop, the flowers fell and an image of the Virgin of Guadalupe miraculously appeared. This image has since become a symbol of faith for Mexicans. And in this basilica, you can see this original image in real life. Once again, it's a very warm day, so it's important to stay hydrated. They don't seem to like sell any bottled drinks or anything here, but they do sell like these local juices. So I got myself a mango juice. Oh, that's so nice and refreshing and cold. For dinner, we came back to the historical center and came to this really popular restaurant where I ended up ordering mashed potato tacos. It sounded so interesting that I just had to try it and it was pretty good actually. They're also quite known for their pastries and desserts, so of course we had to try out that too. They actually have a separate cafe as well, if you would only want to come and try out their pastries and desserts. We have made it inside. It didn't take long at all to queue. You did have to like check your bags, but other than that, it didn't take long at all. And as a tip, I recommend only bringing a really small fanny pack when you come here, because apparently if you have any kind of bigger bag, every time you go on a ride, you have to find a locker where to put your stuff, which can get quite annoying. So me and my boyfriend are only sharing one little sling bag for the day. But yeah, here we have the map of the place.
So we just did our first ride, which was the Superman ride. Oh my God, it was crazy. So it's a really long roller coaster and it goes super high and super fast. There's like several huge drops and like some of the drops really felt like my heart and soul left my body for a moment. The Medusa ride was so much fun. I feel like the Superman ride was more crazy and scary. This one was more fun, I would say. I must say, they do have a lot of really cool roller coasters here. The only thing I'm maybe missing is some rides that would be a bit calmer. Like there are like rides for children, but not like, let's say visually pleasing ones, for example, because now it's like roller coaster after roller coaster. So it's quite uh, intense.
wanted to get some fun treats, so I got myself a hot chocolate with marshmallows. Mm, so good. Well, our day here in Six Flags is coming to an end, but we've had a really fun day. If I would have to rate this park, I think I would give it a three out of five. I think it's a great park, especially if you're someone who likes roller coasters and a bit more like extreme roller coasters. Pros of this place, I would say that it's not too busy actually. Well, we're here on a Friday, so maybe on a weekend or public holiday it's busier. But at least today it wasn't too busy. There's a lot of toilets, a lot of shops. You don't really have to wait a long time to get food or anything, so that's really nice. And Leah, like I said, the roller coasters are really good. As cons, I would say some small details they hadn't really paid attention to, like when we did the dark night metro ride thing like when they had the screen on there you could see like that it was playing from windows movie player and stuff like that and yeah i would have maybe liked a stronger theme like they keep playing like radio pop music instead of like theme park music i don't know it would have been cool with maybe superhero music as this is a superhero theme theme park that could have been fun oh, such a cool looking pool We have just checked in to the last accommodation of this entire trip. I, I cannot believe it, but for the last two nights we decided that we wanted to treat ourselves a bit. So we got a bit of a nicer place. It's still not like crazy expensive or anything, but still a bit more expensive than what we usually have gone for during our trip. And it looks really nice. So here you can see our room a bit. It's a bit of a unique looking room, but I quite like it. And we have a street view from here. This is what the bathroom looks like. Looks pretty cool. Here's the shower. And the toilet. And yeah, especially the swimming pool here looks really really cool so we've got to definitely make use of that a bit later but yeah now i think we're gonna relax for a little bit and settle into our room and we'll see what we get up to later The Krispy Kreme donuts for the first time in my life. Mmm. Well, there's filling in here. So good. So unhealthy, probably, but so good. Mmm. And I also got a chocolate ice cream drink. Tastes so good. Yummy. I had come across on my Instagram that in Mexico City there is a Hello Kitty cafe and it just seemed so cute that I had to go and visit it for myself. Try the pink hot chocolate. Whoa, it's really sweet. <laughs> Tastes good. I hope this is also edible. <laughs> mm. It's chocolate. Everything's very good, but also very, very sweet.
This art museum is known for its striking modern architecture and it houses over 66,000 artworks, including European art, Mexican art and a vast collection of Rodin sculptures. It also has six different levels, so make sure to reserve enough time for your visit. I keep thinking we've reached the end of this museum, like the highest level, and then there keeps being one more level to go up. <laughs> to this big food court at an outside shopping mall and I ordered from Carl's Jr. I've never... Wow, my receipt! Oh no, my mento. What I was trying to say is that I've never had Carl's Jr. before and I ordered the veggie star combo. So let's hope it's good. At least the views from here are really nice. Today is our last day here in Mexico City and actually our last day of this whole six month long Latin America trip. I had a lot of people asking me how I feel about it and honestly at the moment I feel quite neutral about it. I don't feel particularly sad about leaving or happy or I don't know, I just feel kind of at peace. It's nice because we're not flying to the Netherlands yet. We're first gonna fly to Finland because we have a wedding there. We're gonna be spending there almost two weeks before then going to the Netherlands. Soon we're about to check out from our hotel and we still have the whole day in front of us and our plan for today is to well we're gonna leave our stuff here at the hotel then we're gonna go and explore a neighborhood that we haven't really been to yet it's supposedly one of the most beautiful neighborhoods here in Mexico City and it's really close by to us close to our hotel where we are now it's a neighborhood called Roma Norte so yeah that's our plan for today nothing crazy but still gonna enjoy our last day to the max to a bakery that is really really popular in fact we had to wait 40 minutes to get the table so let's hope the food is or was worth the wait wow that's really good this is so good and I don't even remember the last time I would have actually had a quiche, so yum. Mm. Mm. Nice and warm too. So before leaving Mexico, of course I still have to try the famous concha. And yeah, there's like a popular bread slash pastry here in Mexico. I got mine in the chocolate flavor. Let's try. Really nice, quite like simple, but nice. I like it. Well, the food here was definitely really good. Is it worth it to wait 40 minutes for it? 
don't know, it depends on what kind of person you are. I don't necessarily mind, but if you're really hungry, I'm sure this neighborhood has lots of great restaurants and like cafes and stuff to be fair. So I don't think you would have to necessarily wait for this specific spot, but it is a nice spot, so I get why it's popular. Well, I'm gonna end this video here as we're soon gonna head to the airport. On a day when you know you need to go, it's hard to just relax and be. We kind of just want to go already because we know we need to go soon. I don't know if you know what I mean. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye-bye!